Hello YouTube and welcome into another part zero video for our summer A&W challenge. I am the Game Mechanic, here with you as always. And today we're talking about Scotland. Scotland, of course, a Rise and Fall DLC leader um, who's a bit of a specialist. He's uh, he's pretty good at the old science game and uh, pretty lackluster in, in, in the other victory uh, paths. Um, and let's talk about the why of all of that. Uh, Bannockburn is a pretty interesting ability, but it is very, very difficult to actually get to work. Um, and I think for all that you have to really manipulate and, and luck into, I think it's quite underpowered. Um, if you ever do get to pull it off, it can be incredibly uh, <laughs> liberating. Um, but it's uh, in its current form, a war of liberation requires you to to be uh, to to have the war of Lib liberation um, civic unlocked when your suzerain city state falls to somebody else, and that's just that is a whole lot of timing uh, and randomness that needs to match up in order for you to to be able to declare that. Um, and so it, it, it's just not all that. It's just it's it's way especially if you're playing deity without the city state wall mod. Good luck. You will never. This is a zero out of five because you'll never ever get to be able to do it because all of the city states are going to die before uh, turn fifty, and you're never ever going to be. Uh, you're never going to have the qualifications in order to do it. Now, if you can do it, hundred percent production and two movement for the first 10, tur 10 turns of a war is 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 absolutely insane. So if you do get the situation where that is. Uh, available to you sometime mid or very late game um go for it because that's that's amazing and and, and doubling your production uh if you're if you're on your way to space or if you're trying to build uh, literally anything it's 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 phenomenal um but but the reality is is just very it's very very specific and very very tough to pull off um if you have strategies for making that work uh let me know in the comments below i'd be curious to to know how your uh, experiences with bannock burn have been uh, mine have been a bit of a bummer um, Scottish Enlightenment, on the other hand, is a phenomenal ability. Uh, happy cities receive an extra 5% science in production. Happy cities also generate one extra science scientist point per campus district and one extra engineer point per industrial zone. Static cities double these bonuses. So you're telling me I can have 10% extra science uh, empire-wide, 10% extra cult... Uh, sorry, not culture. Production empire-wide and extra great people points what 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 that's amazing that is a that is an all-encompassing like one of the best scientific uh, uh victory type uh, abilities that that's just in the game um absolutely phenomenal and we have a synergy with it as well of course with golf courses um not only do they combat war wariness uh, but they are a unique tile improvement one per city but the one per city is 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 fair because it is a very powerful uh, uh, unique tile improvement. It grants you an amenity, and that amenity helps you maintain your happiness. You get you get your normal amount of cities plus Coliseum, and then some extra late game amenities. Um, especially considering you're probably not going to have like faith for national parks or something like that. Um, some other reasonable point of of late game amenities. Um, th that's very very good. On top of that, you get some gold and some culture. Uh, both of those are pretty good, although. A little bit late for those to be relevant it's really kind of all about the amenity um but then also extra tourism housing uh etc 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 now it's a little specific on where you can uh place them they do they do grant some appeal um so there could be some culture game uh synergies in there somewhere if you're trying to raise the appeal of seaside resorts or uh or um uh parks uh, but in general, it's just kind of a solid, like, get one in every city uh, whenever you unlock the Civic, which is somewhere in the mid-game, um, and, uh, and and be pretty happy about it, right? Do you get it? Because your cities will be happier. The Highlander is a uh, unique uh, ranger, so it's a scout-type unit. Um, it is it gets some extra combat strength when fighting on a hill or in forest terrain. It tends to not be the meta. Um, not, not, not exactly the strongest unit, uh, for, for my money. Um, you, you can force it. You can do a, a ranger war if you want. Um, it's just, you're really going to have to finagle it and, and make it happen. Um, I, I also don't think that the scout unit type is particularly good at warring. Um, it just doesn't have any natural bonuses and stuff to, to, uh, to, to fighting particular types of units. 
So for my money, it's a below average unit. Um, wish it were a little bit better, but hey, uh, I, I understand the need to have a, you know, every every type of unique unit uh, in the book. So uh, very, very amazing, a super, super good science sieve. Uh, that's obviously what you guys are going to be in store for uh, as this game starts and uh, plods along. Um, yeah, he's, he's really good at science and really average at other things, but uh, he's a lot of fun and, and, and very, very good at that science stuff. My, one of my first Rise and Fall games was a four city uh, Scottish space race, and it was surprisingly comfortable. It wasn't e even that painful just having that few of cities uh, because of Scottish Enlightenment. So uh, g give it a shot. If you love a space race, uh, he's, a, he's an excellent, excellent choice for a Civ. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the series. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. See you guys over there. Thanks for watching.